A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Behold, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of men, the the land of my boat, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea in the year 2020, in the month of February. In this, in the God richest blessings to mankind, Shalom peace to one and all everywhere. Brothers and sisters, in the time, the third chapter of the pieces are John in the New Testament, and I'm um, start in this part eight, in this part nine video, and I'm reading to you all from verse nine. Third chapter, first the pieces are John verse nine. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. It means that someone who who have become a Christian, he is born of God. He have the Holy Spirit, he have the nature of God. In him he's a child, a son, a daughter of God. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. But remember, he will be tempted. He's not committing sin presumptuously. And even self then he is tempted. If he do sin, that don't mean to say he's not a son of God. He's still a son, daughter of God. You repent of his sins, God forgive him, and he keep on marching on in Christ. For his seed remain in him. The seed there prefer to the word of God, prefer to the nature of God in that person. The word of God remain in him. And he cannot sin because he's born of God. I think what it means there, he cannot sin presumptuously. He's not sinning every day, every day, minute sinning. But if he does now and then, he might sin. But I'd be in a thought or practically. But even self, he commit that one sin. God will not cast him away, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. So, so, so to say, so this text is not saying that when a person become a Christian, from the day he come a Christian, he will never sin again. No, many people become Christians and they have committed sin gradually as they, as they develop in Christ and they keep on living the Christian life. But they are not prejumps of sinners. There's a difference, brothers and sisters. On David was a man after God's own heart. God himself said that. So if God told say that David is a man after your own heart, you all suspect that when God told David that you is a man over, a man after my own heart, from the day when God told David, you is a man after my own heart, okay, God told David that. So you mean to say, when God told that day, David that, from that day when God told David they, that, to the day when David died, he never sinned? No, we never saw that. In spite God told David, you is a man after my own heart, we still see David sin. Classic example. David went and sinned and numbered the children of Israel. One. David went and commit uh, and took Uriah's wife, commit adultery. Two. And on David was a man after one God heart. So you see, the scriptures is not contradicting itself. Try to understand it in its context. David was not a prejumptive sinner. Because God told David only in these two areas that you have sinned, but God forgive him. Right in the in first Chronicles, second Chronicles, first Kings, second Kings, first Samuel, second Samuel. There's a difference. Okay, let, let's keep on moving on. So whosoever is born of God do not commit sin to Jamsasli, for his seed in nature of God, this word of God is in him, and he cannot sin because he's not born of God. He cannot sin to Jamsasli. That would mean because he's, he is born of God. He have the character of God. The new birth is in him. Because if any if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God. Neither he that loves not his brother. So you tell us about the children of God and the children of the devil. Brothers and sisters, how do you become a children of a, ch a child of God? Well, we see that God created Adam and Eve. Lucifer did not create Adam and Eve. So we see that God is the owner of mankind, not Lucifer. 
God is the owner of mankind. None of the angels is the owner of mankind. God created Adam and Eve. We are the children of men. So the children of God is those who do the things of God. The children of the devil is who do the things of the devil, whether they know it or not, according to Armstrong, whether the consciousness is or not, conscious of it or not, they are become they, they are the children of the devil. But in spite they are the children of the devil, Satan did not make none of them. God is the creator of mankind. Brothers and sisters. Right? So he talk about the children of God and the children of the devil. And even self is a child of the devil. That don't mean to say you, you have to stay a child of the devil. Because a lot of people are children of Satan. But when they hear the gospel, they recognize God's way, way of life is true. They repent of the sin. They give their life to Jesus Christ. They get baptized. They become sin. They become a, a, a child of God. They are no longer children of Satan or the devil. Now they become children of God. Because the room of conversion is open for them. So the scriptures is not saying in this text that Jones is a child of the devil. That devil, you have to remain so until they're dead. The Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible doesn't teach that, brothers and sisters. So try to understand it, brothers and sisters. He that commits sin is of the devil. So the, no, no, no. And this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever does not right, or whosoever does not live a righteous life or do righteousness is not of God. You know why? Because righteousness is of God and God is righteous. So when you're doing righteousness and living a righteous life is of God. When you're not doing righteousness and not doing what is right, you are not of God. Which means you do not is not in relationship with God. But but of course, but of course, God you, you you have God in the sense that God make you. Neither you see that is love not his brother. Because you see God is love and when you love God, you will love your fellow men. When you do not love God, you will hate your brother because you don't have the love of God within you. Therefore, uh, hatred is the opposite to love. So therefore you will hate your brother. Right? So try to understand brothers and sisters. In this the message is for this is the message that you have here from the beginning that we should love one another yes god could tell us that we should love one another because love is the fulfillment of the law and and you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another not as cain who of the wicked one that we put to satan and slew his brother abel wherever he slew him because his own works were evil like cain and his brother works righteous brothers and sisters you see you see, brothers and sisters, but who created Cain? The devil? No, it's God who created Cain. And Cain didn't have to remain that evil way because God told Cain, if you do what is right, you will be accepted. But if you do what is wrong, sin light at the door of your heart. So God told Cain that. Yes. God told Cain that. But you understand, brother? brother? You understand, brothers and sisters? Not as Cain who was the devil, wicked one, the devil. And slew his brother, killed his brother. So Cain was the first human murderer. And he became a 